Welcome to the next session on ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to design a drill bit using ANSYS Workbench. We are going to choose Geometry option. Next, I'll right click on it and choose New Design Modeler Geometry. So basically, I'm using Design Modeler of ANSYS Workbench to design the drill bit. We'll first choose units millimeter. I'll go to ZX plane. Look at first. I'll sketch a circle. The drill bit will have a diameter of twenty mm. And the length of the drill bit will be hundred mm. So I will extrude this sketch which I have just created for 100 mm and generate so that the entire size of the drill bit so this is the length which we have just seen next I will go to XY plane create a new sketch look at I will go to sketching and choose line from this point, I'll draw a straight line here and I'll give it dimension. This is 75 mm. The height up to which we are going to see the twist which I've created over the drill bit. Next, I'll go to modeling. Then I'll choose ZX plane again and I'll click on sketch, look at. Then I'll go to sketching. I choose circle once again. I'll draw a circle here. I'll give its diameter and its distance from this line. So this diameter will be 20 again. And this distance will be 50. Once I've created all of these, now I'll go to sweep i will select this profile circle which i have just created and the path is the sketch apply next instead of add material i will choose add frozen i'll change twist specification from no twist to turns and i'll give one as option and generate so this has been created Next, I'll go to create pattern. I'll choose this geometry. I want to pattern. Instead of linear, I'll choose circular. Axis will be the straight line which I have created. Apply. And I'm going to create two copies. Generate. So now total three of them have been created. Now once this is done, I want to see the final operation so I'll go to create and select boolean I will choose subtract target body is the first vertical body we have created and tool bodies are these separate ones that we have created so press the control button and select all of them and apply and generate so now you can see that this twist over the target body has been created now once this is done, I am going to give some fillets. So I will go to blend fixed radius. I will select this top portion and apply. This I will reduce to 1.5 mm and generate. So one fillet we have given. Next I will give another fillet on this zone. So press control and select all of them. Apply. This I'll change to 4mm and generate. So you can see here fillet has been created. You can give more fillets on these surfaces also to make them a bit finer or you can leave it to this itself. 
so this is the way of making a drill bit now this is one pattern that we have created now i'll just show you another way of it Create the circle in the ZX plane. Give it dimension of twenty. Extrude this to hundred mm. Generate. Go to X Y plane. Create a sketch. Look at. Go to sketching and draw the line again. Give it dimension of seventy five mm. Go to modeling, Z explain once again, and make another sketch. Sketch three. Look at. Go to sketching and. Draw circle again. Give it dimension of twenty, and give it distance from this line. This will be fifty. So once this is done, like the previous one, I'll go to modeling and I'll click on sweep. I'll select this profile and path. Is the sketch tool that we have created? I'll go to cut material. To a specification, I'll change it to turns, and I'll give just one turn as we have done before. And generate. So you can see here, first cut has been created directly. Now, if I go to create pattern and select circular. Geometry So you can see here this has been created directly by selecting the face of the sweep that we have created Now after this you can just go to blend fix radius select the upper edge and give this as 1.5 and generate and create a fillet here and another fillet you can create at this section by selecting it and give this as 4 mm apply and generate so it's the same design which i have created either you can use sweep cut Or you can use the Boolean option. So the choice is yours, but the geometry would look exactly the same by using both the methods. So that's how you design a drill bit using Design Modeler or Pencils Workbench. I have shown you two different techniques. You can use any one of the two. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to make the design. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.